everybody, here we are at the Mission Espada Aqueduct in San Antonio, Texas. Now, a little bit of history. There were five missions in San Antonio that flourished along the San Antonio River. Now, what happened was those who organized the missions, they brought in the Coahuatecan Indians and taught them how to live Spanish-style lifestyle. They converted them to Catholicism, taught them how to do weaving, carpentry, blacksmithing, and the whole nine yards. And they also taught them how to cultivate the fields. So in the process, they had to have a water supply. Now, what happened was, over in that direction there, they built a dam, okay? And from that dam, they diverted something called an asakia. Now, these were irrigation canals that gave a constant supply of water to the field so they could be fertile. Now, what happened was along the way, they came across something called Six Mile Creek. Now, look at it down there. Nice little clear creek, but it got in the way. So this asakia, what they had to do is they had to build this aqueduct. Now, look at it behind you here. This is known as the Via Espada Aqueduct. You can see it's built a limestone, it's very, very sturdy, okay? Now it goes all the way along there, in that direction there, and takes you all the way to the Mission Espada, and of course, that was used for fertilization of their fields. Okay, so that's that part. When we get to the next part, we'll talk then. Hi everybody, here we are at the next part of the Mission Espada Aqueduct Tour. Now, as you can see in the background, here's what it looks like from the top. There's the little aqueduct there, bridge if you want to call that, and behind there, that's where the Asakia comes from, where the dam is, and you can see the water comes through here, and then they divert it all the way over this way, over here, and back into the regular Asakia over there, and that takes you all the way over to Mission Espada. Okay, now one thing I should mention was that the Coahuatecan Indians were the ones who primarily built these Asakias in order to provide the supply of water for the irrigation of the fields of the missions. Okay, so that's the mission, Espada Aqueduct. We hope you enjoy. Hi everybody, I spoke too soon. Now, right now we're going to terminate the tour of the Espada Aqueduct. Now, to clarify earlier, I used the wrong terms. Via Espada Aqueduct and Mission Espada Aqueduct, those are the wrong names. It's simply named the Espada Aqueduct. Now, I decided to take you a bit upstream. Now, if you look over here, we have the San Antonio River, which is essentially the river where the dam diverts it to form this Espada Asequia. Now the dam is actually over there, in that direction you can't really see if it's over there. Now, here is part of the Espada Asequia here, right here, a little upstream as I was mentioning from where we were earlier for the aqueduct. Now if you look over here, as you cross the street, it continues down there, this little bit right there, all the way down to the Espada Aqueduct. Okay, so that's the Espada Aqueduct. Now we can sign off.